Hey everyone, it is Sunday, June 12th. The time right now is 2.43 p.m. and the temperature is around 20 degrees Celsius. And there's a look south down Church Street. And there's a Ukrainian march just on the other side of the street. And this is the intersection of Church and Bloor Street East. And I'm now heading west along the south side of Bloor Street. And for this one, I'm just going to head west. And I'm going to make my way over to Queens Park, where apparently there's a Word on the Street festival going on. And I've never been to one of those, so we'll check it out and take a walk through Queens Park. And to get there, I think I'll head along Bloor Street. And maybe I'll take a little detour along St. Charles. There appears to be some kind of event going on here. <laughs> I think that is part of St. Andrew's United Church. So Bloor Street here runs along the north side of downtown. And just on the north side of the street, it's where a very large Hudson's Bay department store used to be located. And that sits atop Bloor Young subway station. So this whole block here will be redeveloped and reimagined into something new in the coming years. And you can see where Hudson's Bay Company used to be written on the side of the building. Just before this, I recorded a walk starting just north of Young and St. Clair, heading south down Young. And I finished up right over there. And I decided to keep going and record another one since I'm downtown. And the weather seems to be holding up. According to the forecast before I set out, we were going to get thunderstorms in the middle of the afternoon. All right, so what I'll do is I'll head south on Young Street a few blocks here to Charles, and then I'll walk over to Bay, and maybe I'll head back up to Bloor and walk over to Queens Park. It's quite common to see the Ukrainian flags at this intersection. And there's a look north up Young. And this is south down the east side of Young. There is Chick-fil-A, which doesn't open on Sundays.
but they will be open at 10.30 on Monday. And there's a look at One Bloor West, which will soon at least be one of the two tallest buildings in the city. That does feature a rather neat Norman Foster design. There's the city sightseeing bus. And this is Charles Street. So I'll turn right here. There's Miss Korea. I've been there before. It's quite good. <laughs> and it looks south down young. And this here used to be a second cup cafe. This is West on Charles Street. I think I called it St. Charles near the start of this one. Whoops. There's 7 West. I've been there a few times before. It's kind of a neat bar slash restaurant located in an old house. the Okonomiyaki house, or I guess it's just the economy house. They serve up Okonomiyaki. And I think I can see the festival way off in the distance. I see some red awnings. Where Charles Street terminates at Queens Park. And here's Bay Street. All right, the light's changing. I'm gonna head north back up to Bloor. And then I'll head west over to Queens Park and that'll take us, at least I think to the start of the festival so I won't miss any of it. Although I really don't know what to expect. And just to the north of here is the Yorkville neighborhood. And this patio is part of Italy.
There's a bike share rack getting reloaded. And it's back to Blue Street. There's a couple of 94 Wellesley buses, and I'm guessing they were rerouted due to Queen's Park being closed for the festival. There's plans for a 79 story tower to go on that lot. This is some of the most expensive retail space in the city. And for that matter, I think the entire country. There's an Hermes. You could start it. And this is Queen's Park coming up. That is the Royal Ontario Museum just off in the distance. On the north side of Blue here is Avenue Road. There's a Peloton store. This is the Word on the Street Festival. And it's described as a national celebration of literacy and Canadian writing. I think it's been going on for around 30 years. And there's
there's a look south down Queens Park. And that's the Provincial Legislative Assembly off in the distance there. And a look at the ROM. And north up Avenue Road. I think that's that same city sightseeing tour bus we saw earlier. It was probably originally going to head down Queens Park here. I recall this event taking place in September most previous years. And the last one I knew of was down at the Harbor Front Center, if I'm not mistaken. And I think it features a number of Canadian authors. And I think they have a bunch of little venues set up where authors do some speaking events and that sort of thing. I guess I should have researched this a bit better. It looks kind of tempting to just grab a beer. There's the Gardner Ceramics Museum. And some roasted corn on the cob. Crispy potato. There's a listing of all the exhibitors. So we are there. And it looks like this will take us around Queens Park. It's on both sides. And here's Museum Station. That's the Sunday program. And they have events going on through 5 p.m. Looks like they're having a author signing session. I just overheard someone say all those books were 20% off today. Coffee starting at three bucks. All right, so do I go right or left? 
It's a million dollar question. So I think it's pretty much the same as this on the other side. Some fresh drinking water provided by the city. Certainly a very different kind of festival from the one I was out at last week. DMV Books is here. That's a popular used bookstore. They have a location on Bloor West in the Annex. And there's another one up in Midtown, just north of Young and Eglinton, a much smaller one. Twenty beef lamb chicken for fifteen bucks. Twenty skewers? That can't be right. Look at this poutine and more. I guess. All right, let's cut through the park here. This land is actually owned by the University of Toronto. Despite being home to the provincial government headquarters, which is the Legislative Assembly just south of here, that would be the Canadian equivalent of a Capitol building, or a state Capitol building. That's the most nutritious Okay. Sarah, come. Anthony. Come. Alright, 
And this is Wellesley Street up ahead. So I think I've just hatched a plan. We're going to swing through this last part of the book festival. And I'm going to take Wellesley over to Wellesley Station. I'm going to hope the battery on this camera holds up. shortage of portable toilets. Doodle Paw Press Kids Books for Foodies. I wonder if a medic's mind was invited to participate here. He's the author of two successful books and a viewer of this channel. me back to my days of teaching kids in Korea, reading books like that. So this is east on Wellesley Street, and Wellesley Street begins just behind me on the other side of Queens Park. These buildings here belong to the province. And they're undergoing an extensive remodeling. There is St. Joseph's College School on the left.
and it's back to Bay Street. You know what? I think... I was going to go south on Bay to college, but I'll just stick to the plan and go east on Wellesley here. I just realized I'm probably not going to have the battery left in my camera to finish it. I do have a battery pack. I could plug in, but I'm going to see if we can do this on the original charge. I think the video before this I recorded was about 36 minutes or so. This one's only 32. So the capacity on this thing is definitely starting to drain as time goes on. Needs to be able to get about an hour and a half, no problem, recording 4K60 on it. And it's worth noting this is the first weekend in quite a while where you could go mask-free on the TTC and still be compliant with all the rules in place. I noticed today in the shuttle bus on my way down, almost nobody was wearing one. And this is Young and Wellesley, and straight ahead is Wellesley Subway Station. Arm Transit recently did a video featuring the station. There's look south down Young. Here we go. And straight ahead is the Church Wellesley Village. I bet that would be busy today given that it is Pride Month and it's usually a pretty busy and vibrant neighborhood. enjoyed this one starting at Church and Bloor making my way west passing through Yorkville on the way I 
I just dropped my phone. <laughs> Good thing it has a case. As well as going past the Word on the Street Festival. It looks like the next train isn't for another four minutes or so. So on that note, thank you for watching. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below. And if you wish to support the channel, there are links to my Patreon and YouTube channel membership in the description. And I have an Instagram account. And you can find that at Johnny Strides. And there's now a super thanks button appearing below each of these videos. All right, I'm going to go have myself an ice cold drink. So thanks for watching and I will catch you on the next one.